Hello there, I am wait what? And this will be the final Well, second to last part of Cafe Zero, hopefully, since it should take me one episode to get her good in, one episode to get her bad in. So there we go. This is Ami. The girl who told me that she's my best friend. I hope she can tell me about my past. I am wait what and things are happening and game and Yeah. Be done. Marlene, how are you today? You're Ami, right? You still don't remember me? S sorry It's okay, just take your time Is there anything you want to ask me? Uh, is one of these like good or evil? Alright, I'll save already Yay Oh god Oh god. Oh god. What is my favorite subject? What's my favorite subject? I don't think you had one. Huh? Huh? Well, to tell you the truth, you skipped many classes. Why did I do that? You told me that you weren't feeling well and you always rested at a nurse's office. Oh, uh, but don't worry. I don't think you have a serious illness or anything. So... That was... Interesting. Later on, I'm gonna go back to that and see what happens when... When, yeah. When I show her the various things. Oh, me for the mirror. I've heard that right. I don't know. So as you said, the fact that I'll die in a few days. Good luck, my lady. That's it. That's it, my lady. Don't you have any other advice to give me? Think of it using your own head. Oh, my apologies. You don't have your head with you right now. Can I have a rest now? <whistles> Yay. Ah. Eww. I already did that one. It's my hobby. It's my hobby. Hmm. Swimming, I guess? Was I good at it? What are you talking about? Didn't you hear that you were the ace? But I just can't imagine that. And I guess I can't swim anymore due to the injury. But don't worry. I'm sure you'll find a new hobby soon. going to be the fastest route ever. Should we do it again? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, there's nothing new. Okay, that's enough for today. You don't have much time left, young lady. Please work harder. I'm trying, but I don't know how to do it, you moron. I hope you show me something better tomorrow. So this is the I fail at life route. Can I rest now? Just do it. Okay. Uh, Ami. So if I asked her, how did I used to be? Was I that different compared to now? Hmm? I don't think so. I guess maybe a little. You know, you were stressed over many things, so you used to be a lot more gloomy. But believe me, you're still the same person and you look a lot better now. Really? Trust me. Hmm. It's not what I expected with Ami's route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shower sure, something. Shower. Sure. The photo. Photo? Yes. Isn't that you? I know, but hey, the man behind her he looks kind of like the school's doctor, huh? 
But why was I together with him? out of time I don't really know what to go on Saturday do you want to go out invisible to me yes I can can you do it I want to rest for the entire day you should have been called the sleeping beauty rather than the mermaid princess what do you mean by that he disappears as I turn to him Shall we do it again? No time left for you. So I'll hide tomorrow if I can't collect all the parts. Let's just look forward to it. Okay, so... I have to examine each one of those special items. Sir? Yes, my lady? How will I die? He just smiles and does not give me an answer. This is the last day, the day I'll die. But there's no sign that I'm going to die at all. Will I really die on this day? Ow. Huh? Hello? Marlene, are you free today? Let's go to... Wait, I mean, someone's coming. Huh? Do you have an appointment today? No, I don't have any plans for today, but... I open the door while the phone is still connected. Yes? Miss Uno, I'm Toro Mizutani's personal chauffeur. You requested me to come and pick you up. Huh? Please come with me. We have no time to waste. W wait! What happened? Did I just hear Toru's name? Oh! The phone line is cut off all of a sudden. Oh no! Here we are! So you're here. Hey, he doesn't have the cap on. I reached a port where a big ship is docking by. What are you thinking? Huh? Did you just kidnap me? I've heard stories about this boy. He should be Toru Mizutani, my ex-boyfriend. Kidnap, huh? Well, that's not entirely wrong, I guess. I just need you to join the cruise. Cruise? But why? Wait, Ami? <clears throat> you should have asked me too, Toru. That's mean of you to exclude me from the group. You're not in the group anyway. Hey, stop it. The ship is setting sail soon. Oh, yeah. Doctor, you're coming too? Yeah. It's just me. Doctor looks different than before. Is the water always that loud? Ah, the ship sets sail. Wow, the wind feels really good. Nope. Whoa, a giant wave hits us without warning. Careful, don't get seasick and dirty my boat. It was you who kidnapped me here. Alright, oh, I forgot about that. This boy, I wonder what he's up to. Just wait here. <sighs> the waves are getting larger and he's not coming back. I better look for the others. Can't find anyone. Can't believe that I can get lost inside a yacht. Hmm? I hear sounds from afar. That's the boy with the cap and the school's doctor. Toru? But why is he wearing a cap? There we go. Where have I seen this scene? They seem to be arguing about something. The doctor looks really mad. Oh. What happened between them? I'm about to reach them. Ah, the biggest a wave. The biggest wave. A huge wave. The biggest one thus far. Eh, whatever. Hits us and causes everything to collapse to the other side. No, I lose my balance. Miss Umino! The ship struggles once again. It's not as big as the previous one, but it's enough to send me into the drink big enough to knock me into the water 
Dun dun dun. So this is how I meet my end. So simple, fast, and unpredictable. This morning, no one would have imagined that I would die on a cruise. Such a stupid life. I laugh at my death. And then the darkness comes to my consciousness is swallowed up once more. And I did not, like, solve anything. Sternness, I returned. Welcome back, young lady. I have been waiting for you. I died. Yes, you did. So what should I do now? Let me see. You don't have all the parts yet, do you? Just like what you saw last time. Oh, yes. What a wonderful ghost. I remember. When will he stop pissing me off? Never. It cannot be helped then. There's only one thing you can do now. And that is... He opens his eyes wide. Forget everything and just start over again from the beginning. Kind of had a feeling we were doing that. We are looking forward to your next visit. Bad end. Did that even count as an end? Yes. All right. All right, all right, all right. Not going to make you watch all that again, but I know what to do. Then again, maybe it will be extra simple. Just do that and skippy skippy. Yep. You're on me, right? You still don't remember? Sorry, it's okay. Just take your time. Skippy, skippy. Show her something. Cap. Huh? That cap. I believe I have the same one. You do? Actually, I love caps. I have my own collection of caps. This girl is actually a cap maniac? Yes. It's cool, isn't it? Take a, take good take a good care of it. I will. But why did I have cap like hers? The plot thickens, not really. Welcome home, young lady. Yada yada yada. Okay, so that much good good skippy skippy maybe do you have something to say my lady no nothing can I have a rest now yeah 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 let's go let's go with you show her the cap broken bracelet huh you broke it oh that's right you don't remember we bought that together during the field trip it's a pair, see? She shows me her wrist. Oh! I can't blame you, since you probably don't remember how it broke. But I had hoped you would have treasured it more. Well, I'm sorry. But why did I have it in my drawer? So my most fulfilled life is not being involved with the other two at all. Well, I have the items, I guess. Should we do it again? Okay. What are we going to see today? Oh. Nice, nice. Oh. What? Young lady? Now the plot thickens. Let's do this. That's right. That day, I finished the club activity and went home. Huh? The hair color was different, and those were Mail's outfit. Isn't that... Ami? What is she doing? What's with that girl? They were behaving just like a couple. Holding hands, staring at each other. But why? Why does she need to dress like a boy and date a girl? The plot really does thicken. Huh? Kawase, thank you for accompanying me here today. Me today. You're so cool. No problem, sweetie. Here's the payment. Can I reserve for next week, too? Thank you, but I'm fully booked at the moment. Aw, that's too bad. Bye. She left as soon as she received the money. This is still not enough. Ami, what on earth has happened to you? Don't tell me this is the real you.
the next day at school. Hey, look at this. Huh? I mean, appears as usual. Is that a new bag? It's not just a new bag. It's TL's latest design. You know, that famous designer? But isn't it expensive? I heard that it would cost around... It's not a problem. You see, I've got a really good part-time job. Should you be talking about that? Come on, tell me what you think of this bag. It's cute. I'd expect of CL. Ha ha ha, thanks. Hey, don't stand around me. S sorry. Toru Mizutani, he left without saying anything. Ami kept looking towards his direction. Ami? Oh, nothing. You should get one too. I'll, I'll think about it. I couldn't say anything to her. I'm doing a much more terrible thing compared to her. Okay, I, I remember. That is my past, isn't it? Seems like it. Ami, why? Can I rest now? As you wish. This appears. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Ami, hey, you, come here. Voice can be heard coming from behind me. You're... Toru. I'm not talking to you. Don't bother me. Hey, what's that for? Are you hiding something from me? Ugh. Mizutani, if you don't mind, could you please say it here? Join my cruise on Sunday. I'll send my driver to pick you up. Huh? That's all. Bye. Wait, you're inviting me too, aren't you? Jeez, he's walking away too fast. Sunday, isn't this the day I will die? Ah. Uh, anyway, what are we talking about? Shower or something. So I've done the first two. Necklace. Hey, so you managed to pick it up. You don't remember that. You used to treasure very much. Did I? Yeah, the accident when you hurt your leg. That's because you're trying to pick it up. Really? It certainly is your treasure. But why did I treasure it so much? I don't even remember which ending gave it to me, so meh. Shall we do it again? Yes. Let's do it. I see there are new parts. Yay. Let's get better results. I'm coming together. You. Fight up. Yep. Photo? Yes. I know, but. Hey. The man behind her. He looks kind of like the school's doctor. Why was that together with him? So that's all the choices, right? Shouldn't that be like everything? I hope. Like another memory right now or something? Should we do it again? So, what are we going to see today? It's good. You only need one more part. Young lady, I look like a ghost, but you are a ghost. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Young lady? Yay. Hey. Hey, Martin. Hmm? What are you doing? Daydreaming? I just feel so happy. Jeez. He gave me a light kiss that pulled me in. Huh? I feel something attached on my neck. Show sure, this is... It fits you very well. Just don't show it to anyone. Show. I love him so much. But show, do you love me as much as I love you? <laughs> okay. What? Show, what are you talking about? I couldn't believe what I've just heard. Show, is he serious? You need to go out with Toru Mizutani. But why? Show, you... 
You know my feelings for you. Show. Please be more careful. You come here way too often. People are starting to suspect us. I know that. Everyone in the class and those in the swimming club, they're talking about us. Even so, I didn't think this was enough to make him say all of this. Say this all of a sudden. Toru Mizutani. I knew him. He's pretty popular among the students. He's well known because he only dates the most popular girls at school. Did he say something to you? He shrugged his soldiers, the shoulders a little in an attempt to act normal. N no, it's just that he seems to be attracted to you. It'll be easy to ask someone like him to go out with you. So, why? How could you say that so casually? I was trembling with shock. And then I felt warmth on my hand. Don't worry. The moment he could hear the sound of people outside of the nurse's office, Sho's attention changed immediately. Those distant eyes became gentle once again as if they were trying to reassure me that everything was alright. Morning, this is merely camouflage. Sho, morning, mine. He hugged me and kissed me on my forehead, my right cheek, my left cheek, my lips, and finally my neck. Morning, believe me, how can I ever let you go? You're mine, forever. Oh, it happened again. I knew it. You were nice to me only when someone's near the room. Show. Show. Why did you change so much? Okay. I, I, I remember it. Even if I don't really want to remember it. <clears throat> Can I rest now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not auto. Not auto. Listen. Yesterday I sent Ami a message shortly before I went to bed. Will she come? I sneak into the empty classroom. I sneakily sneak. Good. It's not locked. I take a seat on my desk, waiting for her to come. She's coming, I'm sure of it. I close my eyes as I try to recall the memories I've managed to remember thus far. The pain, the worries, and the betrayal I experienced. So, you're really here. Ami. You remembered. I close my eyes. No, not everything yet. But you do remember about me. Ame Kawase, she's my best friend, she should be, but then, Ame, you, the way she dressed herself up like a boy and how she stared at him, could it be that she... I realize she's smiling at me when I look at her again. You know what? I've never even once thought about, thought that you're my best friend, she says without changing her tone. I hate you. I really hate you so much that I wish I could kill you someday. She's still smiling, but her words feel like swords piercing into me. Why does it have to be you? Why did he choose you? You, who's no longer popular. How did you manage to get him back again? Her smile disappears as she gives me a frightening look. So you really like Toru Mizutani? Yeah, you've got a problem with that? I know that he's not a good man. <coughs> he changes his girl all the time, and he only dates the popular ones in school. Still, I can't deceive myself. I just can't stop thinking about him. Oh? You wouldn't understand how I feel. I know it quite well. For I have experienced it myself, dating someone bad and doing something wrong. Are you kidding? Everyone loves you. That's why I can't forgive you. Just stay away from him. As soon as she finished talking, she turns back and leaves the classroom. I really thought that we could become good friends. What a pity. Tomorrow. How will I die tomorrow? There's still things I can't recall. Yes, let's do it.
Yay. Yay. What? Did I hit the wrong button? Okay. Yes, this is it. This is how I look. It's just like I remembered. You are very quiet, my lady. I have nothing to say, sir. This is me. The most foolish girl I've ever known. Everything happened just like I remembered it. Sir, if I can change nothing in the end, why do I need to re-experience the last seven days of my life again? It's too painful. That's not right, my lady. We're here to give you another chance. And it is all up to you to decide what to do in the end. What you want to do in the end. Yep, yep, let me rest. You're welcome, Miss Mari Numino. It's a boat. It's a big boat. Toro's yacht. Big wave gonna kill me. Let's do this. Toro and Show exactly like that time. I mean, you're coming too. So, all the players are here. Are you okay, Umino? I'm fine. Thanks for picking me up, Mizutani. Yeah. You and the cap is the same. Let's go, Marn. I'm so excited. Huh? She grabs my arm and whispers to me. You're going to regret coming here today. Shall we go, Doctor? The ship sets sail. And so does the countdown of my death. Whoa! Giant wave hits us without warning. It's exactly the same. Be careful. Totally. Huh? You, you remembered? Not all of it yet. So, why did your friend pretend not know anything up until now? I just wanted to affirm some things first. And I don't have much time left. What do you mean? Another huge wave hits again. Wait here. I have to find the captain. Everything is the same. Toru, he left me here again. Wait. Am I going to die in the same way if I stay here? That is your fate, young lady. I remember the waiter's words. But hey, no one knows if you don't try. I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. It will end soon. Let's do this! Since she's not chasing after Toru and the doctor, things should be good. Maybe. The ways are going to come again soon. Ah! A huge wave. The biggest one this far hits us and causes everything to collapse. I tried to hold on to something, but it's too late. I'm going to fall off. No, not again. Ugh. The ship struggles once again. It's not as big as the previous one. It's big enough to knock me into the water. Damn it. So in the end, I still fall and die. Why? I didn't see the fight between Toro and Show. And yet... <sighs> Welcome back, young lady. I look around the room. After all of that darkness and emptiness, and then I'm back at the same place again. So you're right. It is my fate to die. Young lady. But I don't understand. I just can't remember what caused my death, no matter what I do. Didn't you regain your memories? I do remember that I approached Toru and Sho, and then I slipped and fell off from the ship. Still, I don't remember why I approached them. Was it because I wanted to hear them, or perhaps I had a different reason? I see. So, this is what you have chosen this time. Huh? Please, close your eyes for a while. What are you planning to do? Just close your eyes and everything will be over soon. You will know what you want to know, even if it is someone else's secret. Oh, okay. I close my eyes slowly. <sighs> um. Touch. I feel something touch my forehead, and something strange is happening. The puzzles within my mind, they're melting into one. That's right, I... Big Brother Show. So, you're the doctor of this school now. 
Big Brother show. He used to live near my house, and he's just like an older brother to me. My parents care about their work more than me. Therefore, Big Brother show. He's the only person I can seek for. Marnie, you should call me Doctor here. He looks a little unhappy. I'm sorry, Doctor, but I can't help it. It's nice to see you again. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'll always be at the nurse's office. He looks happy. I know it. He must have missed me as well. <clears throat> hey, after all, we are just like real brother and sister. Sure, why not? And then, big brother. Big brother? Marvin, didn't I tell you to stop skipping classes to meet me? Uh, but I want to meet him so much. And the way you're calling me. But it's just the two of us now. Just the two of us, huh? Big brother? Martin, I'm a man. You might see me as a brother, but people might think otherwise. Besides, I work here too. You know what that means, right? But I, I don't mind if people see us in that way. Big Brother Show, aren't you the same as me? That's why you called me Martin, isn't it? Are you afraid you will get fired because of me? It's not like that. <sighs> I just don't want you to get a bad reputation, and what if I see our relationship in a different way as well? Huh? Big Brother Show, I have always wanted to meet you. Big Brother, I touch his cheeks. It's really different. You're a man now. Stop it, Martin. And yet, he doesn't move. He looks like he's trying to stop himself rather than stopping me. His neck, his collarbone, they are so manly. I put my finger over his lips. Big Brother Show, have you ever kissed someone before? Are you good at kissing? Would you teach me, Doctor? Before I knew it, he pulls me in and kisses me. I don't have the chance to think. It's so deep, it freezes my entire mind. Big Bro, stop calling me Big Brother. You'll regret this mine, I'm sure of it. But I can no longer let you go. Mine, my only mine. Show! Sure. I hug him back. It was then I realized I've been in love with him since a very long time ago. It's so intense. We were so happy. We spent the time together at the nurse's office on the weekdays. And we have additional dates on the weekends. I love him and I know he loves me, but I'm sorry. I've got something to do this weekend. Well, okay. Again, we only meet at school lately. Are you angry? I'm fine. Then smile. He has my forehead a light kiss. Oh. Doctor, are you there? Please wait for a moment. He said that without changing his expression. Sho, why are you nice to me only at the school? It's gonna be a long video. Sho, he changed. Um. Be quiet, you'll wake him up. He touches me again as he undoes the buttons on my uniform. I look into his face. Sho. I can see no love left in his eyes. I can only see excitement and thrills. Show, sure, are you enjoying this just because it's a forbidden love? <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Huh? Where am I? I don't remember if I've seen this before. That's Toru and Show. It's a well taken photo, don't you think so, Doctor? Blackmail! I was surprised. Could you imagine how shocked I was when my sister showed me her picture and I saw that familiar looking couple right behind her? Are you threatening me? Hey, don't talk like that. I ain't that bad, you see. Just share her with me. Huh? She's a hard person to approach. I've been dating many girls, but I've never seen a girl who is as difficult as her. What? Hey, I didn't ask you to break up with her. You can still date her as well. We can enjoy her together. Isn't that cool? It also make a perfect camouflage for your relationship. Let me think about it. I'm looking forward to your answer. <laughs> it's 
getting weird. Well, it always was weird, but jeez. So, that's what happened. Sho, I can't believe you would sell me off for something like that. Umino, you know, Mizutani is looking for you. Huh? Sho just told me to go out with him yesterday, and this guy is already looking for me? Please, excuse me. Well, why? But Myron, why? I'll talk about it later. Are you totally Mizutani? Yeah, I bet you already knew why I called you. Will you go out with me, my princess? Don't forget you have only one answer here. I know Sho didn't tell me everything. Your answer? He must have blackmailed Sho. Yes, I do. Toru. Good answer, my princess. I know I have no other choice if this is what Sho wishes for me to do. Show, are you happy now? Char has been following me everywhere and he touches whenever touches me whenever he gets the chance. In no time, our relationship is known by everyone in school. Hey, what are you thinking, my princess? Kiss me again. He touches every part of my body. I notice a shadow moving in the nurse's office window. I see. He has been watching us. Show. Do you know that I always imagine you whenever he touches me? My lips. My eyes. My heart. Do you know they are all yours? Again? I thought I would experience another flashback, but I'm just watching it this time. That's Ami and myself. I remember well, this is when the accident occurred. We were about to go to the next class, and I... Oh. Mommy? I dropped something. Let me pick it up first. Oh, okay. Push her! She smiles? No. You pushed me, you evil bastard! You biatch! She pushes me from behind. It's all your fault! He should have been mine. And just because you're popular, you... So that's what you had in mind. It's... Show? The doctor? Poor girl, to think that she has always trusted you. Did you see everything? Yes, from the very beginning. Why didn't you stop me? Huh? Why should I? What? He goes to the end of the staircase and proceeds to grab something that's right next to me. I shouldn't have given her something like this. It's a necklace he gave me. He puts it inside his pocket. Will you report me? Why should I? He smiles. Doctor? It's better if she can no longer swim anymore. Then I guess this will be a secret between us. That's right. Show, how could you? I hate all of you! You're dicks! Huh? It's just, like I said, let's break up. But why? This is too sudden. I'm just not interested in you anymore. You're no longer popular, princess. And you're an ass! I see. Now I belong to him and only him. Toto, wait. Suddenly, Ami gets out from the classroom and approaches us. Bye. Ami, I wonder what happened between her and Toto. She's not popular anymore. I'm watching another scene from my past. So this is what happened after I left them alone. That's why I broke up with her. Then you're free now. It doesn't matter. I'm not interested in you. I told you that dating someone with the same height can only make me look silly. But I... Bye. 
but I really love you, Ami. So that's what happened. This is... Hey, Doctor. I'm not interested in her anymore. I'll delete all the data. There's no point in blackmailing you anymore. But it's not exciting if it's over just like this. You... What are you scheming now? Come to my cruise this weekend. I'll bring the rest of the data on my SD card. I'll give it to you. Only if you come. You... I'll invite her as well. I'm sure we'll see an exciting show. So everything is just a play after all. So, I know that you don't belong to me anymore. You're just enjoying the show, aren't you? And you know that I can't refuse you. I've long been addicted to you. So, I lost myself completely because of you. All my joy, all my life. I knew it. There's only one thing I can do to gain back everything I've lost. Show. I need you to disappear from my sight. I approached him while I was arguing with someone, but I don't care. Show, I want my life back, but I know that I can't bear losing you either. So, would you please die with me? Both of you go overboard. A huge wave hits us and everything collapses. No! The ship struggles once again. I tried to hold on to something, but I can only grab my bracelet. It's too late. I fall from the ship and I lose my life. Yet again. Did she die? She can't move her leg to swim anymore, right? Huh? I'm watching everything again. You are Ami Kamase. The cap is blown off by the wind. I told you I'm not Toru. But what are you doing? Dressing up like that. All of you are freaks! And didn't I predict in the last episode someone about, like, after every death she restarts it or. No? I guess with the other actual endings. No. I don't know, maybe, since I got all the items. Uh, something like that. I was trying to find and kill her as Toru. Well, it turned out differently from what I planned, but it doesn't matter now. What's done is done. She smiles. You're right. Doctor? It's good that she died. I've grown tired of her. Oh, I've nearly forgotten about this. He pulls something from his pocket and throws it to the water. This necklace he gave me. Show. You're no different from me, Doctor. We're just horrible people. Yes, 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 yes. What are you doing over there? He runs to them. There was a big wave and... What's with that look, Kawase? And where is she? She fell. What? You don't need her anymore anyway. Will that be a problem? But this is my ship. What if someone else found out about it? You can just say that she never appeared at the port with us. Go ahead and bribe anyone that could have witnessed seeing her. Ain't it easy, rich boy? Doctor, you... Then I guess this will be our secret. Only the three of us know about this. Deal. So, that's how it was. Everybody was against me. Jesus Christ. Ami Kawase. A girl who was drowned in her desire of love. Toyo Mizutani, a boy who was drowned in his dire desire of fame. Sho Takazawa, a man who was drowned in his desire for b forbidden fruits. And I, Mara Numino, a girl who was drowned by all of their desires. I... I remember it all. I was so sad. That's why I wished to forget everything before my death. That must be why I couldn't remember anything. How are you feeling now, young lady? 
Do I look good, sir? It was your choice to know the truth. You're right. You decided to forget everything, and that's why you have become a wandering ghost. All we did was give you another chance, my lady. He's right. Now that you know everything, do you regret it? I don't. So, you have your answer. Yes. An Exodor appears before me. My lady. Sir, do you know that a desire is like a whirlpool? It swallows everything around it without any exception, and that desire is me. As you wish, young lady. Thank you for visiting Cafe Zero. Hey, are you alright? Toro. Speaking of which, why are you dressed like that? And where is she? We haven't seen her. I can't find her anywhere. That last wave is pretty big and... Are you saying that she might have fallen from the ship and got herself drowned? She can't swim. I can guarantee that. She hasn't been able to use her leg very much. And then a big wave comes. None of them know it is me. I'm the big wave. The mermaid drowned and vanished into bubbles, merging with the sea. And that wave is just a small part of it. Hey everyone! Aren't you happy to see me again? That's creepy. Alright. Well, that was the truth and everything with Cafe Zero. Now, I'm not gonna lie. That was a pretty good ending after everything else. Because I didn't have the highest of expectations. Because, I mean, it seemed like it was going to tell a very interesting story. And then it just pretty much ended up telling, like, day after day we saw one little event that happened each day and with like Toro for example it hardly felt like it was anything important I mean like one decision I guess it's not done yet oh get back to that so it is finally over the story of Mario Numino a girl who was drowned in her desires what do you think about her does her story satisfy you <laughs> want her ghosts come to this cafe to find the alternative story of their ends and that is what, what we serve in this cafe. Hmm? Am I the only waiter? No, no, no. We do have many waiters and other workers as well, but they will only be visible if they have something to do with you. It seems that we have another guest. Sorry, but I have to go now. Oh, before I forget. We at Cafe Zero will always be here, waiting for you. Well, thank you very much. Anyway, it felt like what I was getting each day was the bare minimum of everything that that um like with these type of events or these visual novels with choices to make and characters and all that stuff. Normally there's more than one event a day and you have more than seven days. I mean, I can understand the whole seven days thing. That's what was the story, but if they wanted to wanted me to actually care about the characters then there should have been more with them something to make me like them more because as it was there was really nothing to make me care about any of them and can't lie I just didn't care about any of the characters and everything that happened was like oh okay whatever and the art is just creepy in some of these not that that's necessarily a bad thing I've been an artist before and I it, I can tell how difficult and whatever and heck these work in just a kind of a strange way especially that one but I, maybe that one's supposed to be creepy and that one meaning the wave one if you can't see my mouse 21 out of 21 but that said like it was a little kind of disappointing 
getting to the end, I was, it was just basically, okay, let's get to the end. Not enjoy it, just get to the end. Because that's all it was. But then that extra bonus ending thing, the true ending, that was actually pretty interesting. It went further than I expected, and it told the truth about everything. And, yeah. Definitely not the best visual novel I've ever played, and... Uh, hopefully the future ones I play will be better, but it was it wasn't too bad. And I like the whole I was expecting Ami to be her own route type thing, like the, everyone else, but it was completely different, and I'm okay with that. It added a different dynamic to the gameplay. Well, reading story, whatever. Welcome to Cafe Zero. The Welcome to Cafe Zero. Is this the real Cafe Zero? Of course it is. Yes, you are very much alive. I know it well by looking at you. You do not really need to explain that to me. Can those who are still alive enter Cafe Zero? I guess you should have known the answer by now. Do you still have any questions? Um, Save! Can I save? Yes, save there. Uh... Who are you? My name is Sui. Why do you ask me that again? You're supposed to know that already. What, you think that I should not be a waiter? That is none of your concern. Well, seeing that I am one of the workers here, I will have to answer you as politely as possible. Oh god, so many questions. Why can't you speak in a more polite manner? Why do you serve nothing but water? Are there really other people working here besides you? Of course. What, you not believe it if you cannot see them? Well, you have to wait until you have something to do with them in order to see them around. But that also means that you would not be able to see me since my business with you would be over. Are you fine with that? My apologies. Your time is up. Please leave now. Huh? Isn't this a 24-hour cafe? Yes, you are right. This is a 24-hour cafe. However, that does not mean I have to work for 24 hours straight. I have to rest too, so please. You don't really listen, do you? What? This is just way too early to end for a bonus? Alright then. Do you have anything else to ask? There are many things still unclear in the early case, like, for example, Ami. It's a special one. You should treat me better and more, be more romantic. God! I see. What do you want me to do about that? What? You want me to explain it to you? Why should I? Ami's actions are so strange. Why did she need to seduce girls and dress like Toru? Why did she dress like Toru on the ship? She knows it. Sure. I guess she must have had her own reasons. When people are addicted to something, they might end up doing things you would never have imagined. Ami has a lot of pride. Do you think someone like her would seduce guys just to get money from them? You really like to poke into the other people's business, don't you? Yes! Haven't you ever been told that was a bad habit? Shut up! Hmm. I'm the same as you? Well, this is my job, so it is totally different. Thank you for coming. We are looking forward to your next visit. Aye. 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 No, hey. Darn it. Hey. Whatever. Skip. What is Cafe Zero? I've already explained that many times previously. What, you think I should not be a waiter? Uh, yeah, here we go again. Wait, why do you serve nothing but water? This is not my duty to serve any other type of drinks. My job is to serve water to the guests that come here. What? You're wondering why you have not been served with water yet? You are not a guest. You just happened to find this place by accident. My apologies. Your time is up. Please leave now. Sure. Are you serious? You want me to be more romantic? Oh god. Fuh. What? I just blew my breath behind your neck. Ugh. What, you want me to stop? Yes. You don't think this is romantic? Well, don't tell me you want to be me to mimic show by biting the end of your ear. My apologies, I cannot do that. Your ears just do not look tasty to me. Weirdo. Thank you for coming. We're looking forward to your next visit. Not done yet. Let's keep this up. Uh, I'm bored. I want to turn back to reality. It's your choice. If you really want to leave, you can do it without asking me. What, you think I should not be waiting? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can speak in a more polite manner. 
I have always been polite. And you think I'm not polite enough? Ah! God damn it! I'm very polite, yes. Bastard! Good. It seems you finally understand now. My apologies. Your time is up. Please leave now. Uh, I want to see more. You're just being willful now. Fortunately, there's a problem with that. See? I have no guests at the moment. What should I show you in this situation? You want me to be, want to be your guest? Like I said, our guests can only be ghosts. Am I too picky? My apologies. That is not up to me. This is the rule of our cafe. Thank you for coming. We're looking forward to your next visit. So, for the most part, that's everything. Let's go back to Ami real quick. Uh, sure. Yeah. That one. She is a girl who is full of hatred. If she wanted to do something bad, she would rather do something far worse than just being bad. So, do you finally understand? You really like to poke in other people's business, don't you? Haven't you ever been told? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, I'm calling that everything. That was the bad ends, and the true ends, and even some extras of Cafe Zero, the Drowned Mermaid. I'm Wait What, and I hope you had fun. And I'll be back with a new game. Probably. Soon enough. Goodbye.